welcome back. And today I want to do a special video to thank all of you. So some of you may remember back um, a little bit ago, especially on my social media, I had been asking about people to check out the DeVos Car Show. So it's an international car show they've done. This is the second year in a row where people turn in their cars from all over the world. They have a dozen or so judges and those judges each have a category. And what essentially happens is people vote for the top 25 in that category and then the judge will pick the next best one. So I entered in four categories. One of those was for the actual YouTube channel and that one was sort of a big one because they would actually help that person come up with ways to run their channel and maybe make it more successful. Then there was a road trip channel and what that was sort of focused around was cars that would be awesome to take on a road trip. And I was sort of thinking mine might be in line with that because all wheel drive, good handling characteristics, fairly compliant suspension, good power, and you know, decent storage space for being a hatchback. Another one was track car, so cars are bested up for the track. And of course, since I've already done a lot of research in weight reduction and suspension design and valving and all those things are really important to making a car handle well versus just throwing parts at it, I thought it might be good for that. And lastly, there was tuner taste. And what that category is, is cars, not necessarily fast and furious, but cars that still sort of have a resemblance to stock, but I've also gone steps beyond, maybe not necessarily visually, but mechanically and as far as their you know their function their dual purpose race car handling whatnot uh, but they all have their own somewhat celebrity judges they have their own youtube channels so out of all those four categories i was in the top 25 of all of them except for the youtube one i was in the top 25 initially but it kept going and those other channels had much bigger push of support which is fine mine's still a small channel i have a moderate reach that's understandable the road trip one um i was a top 25 but did not get as finalists, I just, I understand uh, why they chose the choice they did, and so congratulations to those winners. It was really cool to see Speed Academy, who judged the track one, to actually have some nice things to say about the car. Uh, and with their permission, I've got a clip here, show you guys what they thought. All right guys, it is time for Peter and I from Speed Academy to choose a winner from our Hot Lap Hero category. Let's see, what else is interesting to me? I like the Celica All Track. I mean, super clean car. Very clean, yeah. Uh, very rare. You don't see them yeah. too often. Yeah. And it's certainly someone's put a lot of time and effort into it. So. He has. He, I noticed he had a uh, nice yeah. set of like uh, Koenig hypergrams on there. Yeah, yeah. Wrapped in like RE71 beautiful, beautiful color, beautiful car. Yeah, you can see he autocrosses yeah, it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's I liked it a lot too. All the right mods. Obviously, I'm a little biased towards uh, Celica's, but uh, <laughs> that one, that one's a, a goodie. Yeah, I agree. And it was understandable I didn't win, but it was great to see the car get some recognition and the word get out there about what it's capable of and more people to become aware of it as well as the channel. So it was really cool to see the car make it in the top 25 of those categories. Lastly, Surin Tuned, she judged the tuner taste category and here's what she had to say about the car. Now for the winner of the tuner taste category and the contestant going on to the finals is the owner of and well the car the car won you didn't win you're just the person that did the work and drove the thing the car is going on to the finals the 1992 toyota celica all track with this said i was really excited to have won that category uh she's got a great channel and i'm it was really great that she loved the car and it got picked i think it's great for the community she even sent me this cool shirt giveth thy beans for logo on the back so that was awesome of her and then DeVos themselves had trophies made for the semifinalists and so we've got the tuner taste category so yeah it's awesome that the all track got tuner taste so many of you that have been following the channel on my social media for a while know I'm not a car show guy I don't sit here and polish my car every other weekend and do all these you know events to show the car off because I'm more about using the car about enjoying the car and giving it a life worthy of the car rather than letting it sit in a garage for all of its eternity and rotting. To me, I think it's more important for that, but I also did this for the community because one of my goals for this channel as well of really the social aspect I do with this car, because otherwise I probably wouldn't share near as much, is I wanna bring attention to the car and the community. I think it's really important that we have a community, one that's known for being as great as they are. I mean, for the most part, it's it's, probably the best community I have ever seen as far as car communities go. Everyone gets along. I mean, occasionally you'll have 
someone come along that does something shady like i don't know like a lot of this car is built on community knowledge and people sharing and working together and, you know every now and then someone might take the community knowledge and try to gouge people on it or profit off it that's just how some people are but overall for the most part the community is great they, they're there for each other and they want to see the car do well as well as the community so i do this for the community and i'm glad that it brings recognition one maybe more people getting their eyes on the channel and getting eyes on the car might help get the car more attention, which one might help its value, as well as helping get more parts made, help might seeing it utilized properly for motorsports and things like that, rather than just being this mystery or this legend that a handful of people have even heard of. So that's why I do this. And I want to thank you all for subscribing and being part of the community. But I want to thank you all for taking the time to sign up and vote in the DOS Garage Show, uh, as well as subscribing to the channel, following, and supporting the community. Without all of you, none of this would be possible, and I want to say thanks. But with that said, I do have some big plans coming up and possibly some big announcements with what's going on with the channel. So, to keep posted, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.